The Connecticut Auto Show is taking place this weekend at the Connecticut Convention Center. And Logan is looking at some wicked wheels outside right now. Hey, Logan. Sir, thanks. We're here with Jim Fleming, president of the Connecticut Auto Dealers. Jim, good to see you. Good to see you. Boy, you brought my car over. Yeah. I love it. The Mercedes. Tell me about it. It's all set. It's uh, it's an SLS. Uh, it's called the Gullwing, and uh, I can show you why it's the Gullwing. It, yeah. it pops up. It's just one of many cars at the Connecticut Auto Show this weekend. We hope people will come out and take a look at it. And uh, I don't think they'll let you test drive it. It's about $186,000, but it's a bargain. Oh, it's beautiful. There were uh, several gull wings they made them back in the uh, mid-50s, the 300 SL gull wing. So uh, this looks gorgeous. All right, so I'm going to step in here and start it up, right? So the idea is you just pop right in here. Step on that brake. Step on the brake, and then it's just the uh, that button. Oh, boy, Jim, it's uh. <laughs> Jim, there's some horses in this one, huh? Well, you know, uh, they used to make cars here in Harvard. Harvard has a great history with uh, with vehicles. We'll have some of those at the show. They were called Popes, Pope Harfords. But uh, I think this could outrun them. Yeah, I bet it could. Uh, it's, it's interesting. People don't realize that Hartford has such a history when it comes to cars. Well, just down the street from where we're filming is where Pope Manufacturing was. They built electric cars. So if you come to the show this weekend, you'll see the Volt the latest technology, and you'll see something that was built in 1923, an electric car. So all things seem to come around. It's amazing. It's uh, Friday, Saturday, and Sunday, and you're doing something interesting this year. You actually can buy cars there. Yeah, the legislature authorized dealers to sell cars at the show. So the new Front Street development that the city's worked so hard on, this is going to be the first retail business that occurs there. So we're selling cars this weekend at the car show. And if you bring a toy, you can get in free, kind of a Toys for Tots drive? Exactly. We're collecting toys for kids for Christmas, and so if you bring them by, we'll give you a free ticket to get into the auto show. And uh, there's also a Lego racetrack there for young kids, so if you bring the kids along, they'll have something to do as well. Oh, Jim, thank you so much. You're Thanks welcome. for bringing the car over. We appreciate it. Yep. All right, Sarah, back into you. Thanks, Logan. Looks great. All right, right now it is 857. Joe Fury, how are we looking outside? Beautiful. Pretty nice yeah, very morning. nice out there. It's a great day to, well, I don't know if you're going to put the top down today, but I bet somebody will. We'll put the top up in that case. <laughs> uh, it's in the 50s today with the sunshine, some clouds in this afternoon. A little bit breezy, nice day. 40s tomorrow, colder with the sun, and looks good as we go for the weekend. Thanks, Joe, and thanks for starting your day with us. We'll see you at 11 a.m. Bye-bye, everybody.